Shifting focus now to news coming in as far as Prime Minister Modi's US visit is concerned, it clearly looks like the US-India Bonhomie is irking China. China has now reacted to comments that came to the fore from US President Joe Biden where he equated Chinese uh, counterpart Xi Jinping as a dictator. The Chinese Foreign Ministry has now responded. They say, and I quote, that the relevant remarks made by the US side are extremely ridiculous and irresponsible. They seriously violate basic facts, diplomatic protocol and China's political dignity. That's the kind of uh, sharp reaction that has now come to the fore from the Chinese side, which also is on expected lines given the kind of freeze we've seen in ties between the two countries. Abhishek, my colleague, joining us, getting us more context uh, on this particular issue. Now, the timing of this is extremely significant, Abhishek, on two counts. We just had Anthony Blinken meet with President Xi Jinping a couple of days ago. Indian Prime Minister is also in the United States, uh, going to be meeting with uh, President Joe Biden. Of course, and it looks like very bizarre because uh, while Anthony Blinken is in China to soothe in the differences that has erupted uh, between the two nations uh, since the uh, overall balloon saga had happened uh, when the Chinese balloons, many of them were seen snooping around US uh, airspace about the US military establishment and US had alleged that these balloons were not just weather balloon as claimed by Chinese side but they were rather equipped with sensitive communication uh, equipment and they were trying to gather data on US military establishments across the country. Uh, uh, but since then there has been much of uh, you know downslide in, in US-China relationship which Antony Blinken's visit was supposed to in a way uh, you know, repair. Uh, but what uh, uh, what uh, uh, Joe Biden, U.S. President, has uh, currently said has uh, that. Uh, the, the the Chinese president was pretty embarrassed when he got to know about this shooting down of Chinese balloon over USA. And uh, quote unquote, uh, Joe Biden has said the reason why Xi Jinping got very upset in terms of when I shot that balloon down with two box cars full of spy equipment in it was he didn't know it was there. Uh, and he said that's a great embarrassment for dictators. Uh, that is uh, what he has added. And uh, his statement, Biden's statement, has been called out by the Chinese side, calling it absurd and ridiculous. Uh, so clearly, uh, what uh, Joe, uh, Secretary Blinken is trying to achieve, going by going to China and trying to you know work out the differences on in terms of strategic differences or economic differences or the challenges coming from China in this uh, you know very fast moving and dynamic global geopolitical uh, you know tension also doesn't seem to be working very well uh, with with certain commentaries that are even if not true uh, they are not going to go down well in, in terms of optics between the two nations uh, bilateral relationship. Absolutely. And the fact that India is also caught in the midst of all of this because the timing, like I said, is extremely significant. Siddhant, my colleague, also joining us on this broadcast. Abhishek, do stay on with me. Now, Siddhant, uh, even before the Prime Minister of India landed in the United States for this all-crucial state visit, we saw the kind of reactions that came to the fore from the Chinese side. They said uh, that India should not fall into the trap as far as the United States is concerned and their geopolitical calculations go. So this comment that came to the fore from the U.S. President also looks like China seems to be thinking that India is falling into a trap. Well, uh, see, you know, this entire Indo-Pacific theater is very important for United States of America. And perhaps the policymakers there uh, equally understand the importance of China and India. And this is perhaps the reason that uh, uh, right ahead of the visit of state visit of Prime Minister Modi to U.S., where a uh, defense component uh, is, is dominating the entire state visit. You know, uh, at that point in time, only Secretary Blinken goes to Beijing, meet uh, meet Xi Jinping and the and his counterparts, and perhaps made a statement saying that uh, uh, that uh, that America doesn't support Taiwanese independence. Now, uh, you know, uh, this could be a, a policy where 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 Xi Jinping and President Biden uh, are playing good cop, bad cop. Because after after Anthony Blinken's that particular statement, uh, you know there were a lot of uh, apprehensions that has America taken a U-turn uh, with regards to its policy in Indo-Pacific, with regards to its policy with uh, uh, with India and China. So maybe to balance it out, this particular statement has come from uh, President Biden. Point number one. Point number two, that also America time and again wants to give out this uh, this uh, this perception that uh, that since China China is a, has a huge uh, area. And Xi Jinping uh, is a dictator, so it takes a lot of time for uh, for any information to reach Xi Jinping's office. Even in the past, also uh, a lot of times, American policymakers have said this that that Xi Jinping is 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 uh, is partially not aware about what is happening 
uh, uh, happening and and you know it takes a lot of time so maybe to 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 uh, to uh, to give this perception out out that she's being not aware he's a dictator and that this balloon which was shot down by americans in february and perhaps caused further escalation between the two countries in relation uh, was uh, she thinking was not aware about that particular balloon yes. now why biden has said does he really have any intel report uh, suggesting same or perhaps uh, you know confirming this as something which uh, which state department or white house has to clarify but uh, this is the second time that uh, a statement like this is coming from us that uh, she thinking was not aware about the of, about the particular balloon which was which was flying uh, over united states and and, and canada back to you